Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial I want to look how we can create a little bit more advanced materials but in an easy way. So let's create a um, cube, we'll drop down, a little bit rotate so we can preview different sides. We'll also take our camera and positioning above. Let's also slightly adjust our light so we want to have it that hard shadows on the sides, we can preview. Okay, right here we have it our um, just simple cube with all default materials. So what's happening if I want to create my own uh, material for my cube? I have several options. I can go ahead preload it something. I can create fractal or procedures base it. Or I can use image driven um, textures, which actually provide probably the very accurate, most accurate realistic effect. And you know what? Recently, I rediscovered again application that I call Filter Forge. We have it before several tutorials how to use this. And now with the VU, it's open additional side. And what I'm meaning by open, let's look. In material editor in the bumps and right here you notice we have it normal maps so we can actually use it normal maps in displacement for texturing our material so let's go now to a uh, filter forge application okay let me open right here and for example we have it right here default um sim library but this application that um it's come with literally thousands upon thousands different uh, filters that you can find and use them is very easy so you just go inside the filters you can go in a categories so let's look for example techno category or other ones you select the filter like rusty click open and filter forge and there you go you can have it you're loading all of that application right here directly in your filter forge and it's come with many predefined um, functions. We can look in the future how you can create your own filters from the scratch. But this is actually all generated by fractal functions, something similar to what you do in Vu with the nodes. Anyway, let's go ahead right now to our blocky um, filter that I selected. And let's see how a couple things we need to modify. The one thing you can go ahead and switch to new size of the filter so um i recommend 1024 by 1024 as default okay next we'll go ahead and modify a couple things let's go first in the options okay and inside options i want to go inside the rendering okay so we're going inside the rendering tab and right here what we want to switch it's a normal map generation switch to open gl so it will switch from positive to negative y on the height Okay, you can also, if you want it, you can adjust other options. But for now, let's just leave it as default as itself. And what's happening at this point, we can start creating and saving. This is how we'll look our textures. If you go inside render uh, filters, render maps, right here, what we're looking, it's a diffuse map, bump map, normal map, and specular so this is mostly we need it sometimes we'll use it alpha map if we have it any transparency and i may create a few more tutorials just to show it how we can use different materials okay let's switch to diffuse map you notice right here this is just the basic uh, coloring kind of representation when you're done let's click on the save our image okay and i want to save this um as a diff diffuse map and we'll say it's default by JPEG. You have a different options as well. So let's click save. And uh, by default, it will say to 98%. I like to create 100% without distortion. Let's click OK. What's happening, it will re-render your image. So after we save it, we'll go ahead now and create a different bump map. So let's click save this as well. Okay, we'll save as this one as well. Okay, next what we need to do, it's creating our normals. Okay, actually we already switched to OpenGL, so we can discard this message. Let's click save. Okay, 
call it normals. Okay, and one more we need to do, it's a speckler. Okay, let's click on this one, we'll save. Okay, right now when we're done saving our all images, we can go inside the view, open a material editor, and let's start working to add our materials. One, we're going to color an alpha mode. By the way, if you're in basic mode, like this just click on advanced materials so you'll become you come to this more advanced options available for you so right here we're switching to map it picture okay now we can go ahead and load it our image okay all what you need to do just click on open folder okay inside we'll select our diffuse map click open okay Next, what we're going to do is just verify a couple of things. One, I want to be sure interpolation will set to binary and we'll say the object parametric for now mapping. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, work on bump map. But for this to load it, we actually need to right click and go inside edit function. Okay, right here we have our function editor. Let me, oops, just slightly readjust. So we can preview better a little bit okay right here okay right here we go ahead and we'll create a node the texture if you for some reason set to animated or other one be sure you just switch to projected um, texture map next we'll go ahead and as well load it now for this one and we'll select a bump map for that okay let's click ok Next, we connect it, node, grayscale. So uh, when we're here, we can do a couple things. We can close to this point if you want it. Okay. We can go in highlights. And the highlights, what we want to do, it is enable variable highlights. So let's enable, right click, and edit function. And now we can add as well, connect it. Okay, grayscale. And let's load it our speckler for this okay a couple things again let's check right now uh, like mostly it's important on a bump your interpolation type set to none be sure you set at least binary what's happening if you don't those pixelization with jpeg you will see kind of square start popping up and i have a, a tutorial about how to remove those bumps uh, effect what's happening with terrain but overall if you're just using uh, binary this will remove them or smooth them out so let's do same here just in case okay and one more what we want to do it's add to displacement okay let me add right here a little bit so what is happening with highlights it will highlights based on the map okay we have a bump map enable um Let's go ahead right now and render our image. So right here, and mostly look on the edges. Even we look like it's a bumps right on the edge, but edges right here, they are straight. Okay, let me switch on the finals. We'll have a little bit even better to look on this. Okay, the edges, they're very straight. They're not actually representing all this uh, bump. So we can do a couple of things. If we enable just displacement, and um, let's preview with displacement it will give it effect so we start having those kind of bumps but they're not truly representing um, how it's going with uh, our uh, material so what we need to do is import the normal maps so the displacement will apply properly to do this let's go click and select custom node okay right here we start creating our new one We'll go add another image okay let's load it there our image we'll go select normal okay couple things if we try to connect right now we cannot if you notice right here because it's expect vector and we have an output color so what we need to do we need add conversion node and it's located under math we we'll go to conversion and we'll convert rgb to vector so let's now connect it to color node here and we'll connect to vector. Let's click OK. 
Okay, at this point, if we preview, you will notice we have a more accurate actual representation with the, how is our bumps going. So on that case, it will apply more accurate match texture or our terrain. So in this way, it's how you can connect normal um, image on map to your texture, to your material. There are a couple um, suggestions when you're going, go ahead and use it normal maps. Um, smoothing sometimes doesn't apply very well. So just example, if we smooth more, in some cases, you will notice you will have a little bit more distortion not very visible right now but in some other cases when we go to look create another with texture i'll show you another uh, effect on smoothing sometimes may not apply properly but overall actually in uh, vue 8.4 the latest release um displacement was improved on a quality quite a bit so those distortions are kind of removed almost Okay, anyway, a um, couple other suggestions if you're using displacement and you're using ecosystem, be sure you uh, enable move ecosystem instance so they will apply following their old line of displacements and not just hanging in the air. Okay, there's this couple things right here. Um, of course, we can go ahead and if you need it, just slightly adjust maybe, create a little bit more rustic look on this. Okay, let's add a slightly coloring. Um, to this one, let's go to also reflection, maybe pop up slightly reflection up. Okay. And switch to reflection to metallic. Okay, here's just slightly modification. Again, you can apply it to your material. But um, overall, it's what I want to show you, how you can create those different types inside Filter Forge, different type of materials, and how you can use them to apply to create your own custom materials very easy inside Vue. Okay, um, in next tutorials, we probably look how we can apply also alpha map and what is given to us. Thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. Please remember, visit us on our web is www.geekatplay.com.